All right, so it looks like we are starting with a test race. So a few days ago, Matteo made a big announcement that the, uh, the Trackmania is actually collaborating with Formula E. And as a Trackmania Formula League died out, its format kinda in, in uh, most uh, parts got now reused for this uh, collaboration. And we drive basically a Formula E race here in Trackmania. We have now a test race on a yeah, training map to test everything. Some people probably uh, practice this training map quite a lot already. Uh, it's of course in the end tech with some neo slides. Uh, but there's also rain, which uh, drives completely different, which is especially difficult on these maps because they are quite bumpy and uh, the bumps can basically give you an auto slide. There's also a bit of strategy involved, as you have to uh, uh, see how much battery you have left on the bottom right, you can see it, start with 100%. Once you're at 0%, you have then only low speed available still. I was never there. The two times I, tra I, I drove on the server, there was rain. And uh, in the rain you release so much that I didn't get to zero. So I have no idea how it feels like with the battery at zero. Now yeah, then twice in the race you can actually go into the attack mode. Uh, for that you have to drive to the left after this turn here. And there you get a reactor boost. Uh, for one and a half minutes. So that's actually quite crazy. Uh, it's very difficult to drive as well. So even that would require some training for itself because that's really difficult to do well with reactor I'm barely faster than without reactor I think but yeah you can do that twice in a race uh, I guess it makes sense to not do it during the rain At least it sounds logic. There are no pit stops. It's just basically the battery management, and you manage it by how much you uh, yeah, pull the throttle down. The more you release the corners, the less throttle you use, the less battery you will use. So for now, we are doing qualification. There will be multiple divisions. I of course opt for Division 1. I don't know how many actually get into Division 1, so I better try for good lap. I drove two races today, so I know the map an hour a bit, but I didn't really hunt it. Also there are people two seconds faster. You see most of these turns are quite blind, so it's quite difficult to be on perfect pace immediately. You see I have uh, 1.5 seconds uh, disadvantage to first. I lost most of the time in the end, I could say. position here will determine my uh, position on the starting grid as well. Uh, 
turrets are where we fly into the inside edges. You just have to get the feeling for it. Oh. I'm not really sure with the battery recovery if it's really just the throttle. It also has to do with how much you move. Because I was uh, trying to stand in front of a wall and uh, accelerate all the time against it. And I was not losing any battery. So it's not just the accelerating. There's more to it. Which makes uh, me, however, wonder how much can you actually save it. Yeah, releasing this turn, for example. But this makes this turn so difficult, so I don't really know if it makes sense. It freaks maybe a little bit, but really not much. Yeah, this is annoying. There is a bump. If you go for the line that you would usually take without bumps, there's a bump that uh, makes a jump for a small bit, and then you land and you more slide. That means the first one immediately. <coughs> I just noticed my. It always after each lap it tells you how much battery you used in the previous lap. And usually in the training on this map that was like 4.5, 1.7, but now it's 5. Point something. Like, what the heck? Yeah, 5.4. That's way more. And with that, I would never ever make... With that, I would never ever make the uh, 23 laps, if it's uh, still the same race length. You know what, we make a training one. Where yeah, I know slide every corner, let's see. So this is 5.1. It's of course super slow. Also this here is so turn you can low slide, that's obvious. Only 3.6, okay. So it has a bigger impact now. Means you could theoretically go slide here.
Yeah, then here's the big question. Do we lose time with the little slide? What to say? Oh, I had a very good turn here. Oh, <laughs> sick. If you go inside over these curves, you get a slow down. Focus. Scheiße. Scheiße. Full focus. I, 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 I jumped over the curve. Uh, actually, to the next place, it's half a second. So, I need quite a good run. Okay, we have one more try.
two, one. <laughs> I improved, but I lost the possession to Tropos and also to someone else. So for some reason the timer on the top left goes goes up again. Okay, here we go. So I have the 14th place and I just got to zero battery. Ah. Yeah, the banked uh, turn is the one where you get attack mode. You can't use it in the qualifying. How's my nose? They yeah, are running. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for 1.5 minutes, so basically over two laps. And there's a bug I played this afternoon and uh, I got I got a bug that I went through this attack mode and then I had an attack mode forever. <laughs> the whole race. Battery can be recharged full tour if you drive backwards. <laughs> they might have pressed delete, I guess, and restarted. Does the tech mode help save battery? I would say yes, because with the reactor boost I'm so fast that I have to release a lot. I have full tour. Actually, you gain battery if you go backwards. It's funny. <laughs> I mean, look, we are at 99.6. Can we go above 100? Yeah, that would be funny. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I was also thinking that some wall banks might be faster here and there, especially with reactor boost. Uh, but actually these walls, as especially the one where I thought about, they are a little bit tilted so you actually drive up the wall. Yeah, so I thought of uh, doing it uh, here, but now I crashed beforehand, <laughs> so it was fine. This is less likely, especially with this penalty. What I meant. So it's a bit dangerous. I mean, maybe it's done on purpose like that so that you cannot wall bang that easily. I don't know. The world record on the campaign map does not wall bang anywhere. But I thought in a rain or with attack mode on it might be maybe useful there if you survive. <laughs> uh, 
Well, there's no second test race planned for now. The real races will start next weekend. All right, waiting for the race start. So my biggest chance is always when it rains. I drove uh, earlier in the afternoon two races and both it was raining. Uh, the second race I also won because it started directly with rain. Some people left. Pushy Topakov uh, was fighting with me. Yeah, I have to say that it's quite tricky though. It's not a typical team with L rain driving. Uh, you have these bumps here that give you an auto slide easily. So you have to go really slow or you have to find different lines. So I don't know in the real races on the other tracks then how you could train this the best. If you can simulate the rain somehow yourself. Because maybe for the first of the three races of one track it is still an unknown track but the other two races people will train for it. So I would, for example, go into the editor, make reactor boost on and would train the attack mode. Because the reactor boost driving is really difficult. Like really take, taking that to your advantage that you gain time with it, that's really difficult. This Kirby can drive over, but not over these. Ah, this last turn is so difficult. Especially the way this one. Is it 50 players like an uh team of L? I cannot really scroll, I'm not sure this uh picture here he cannot do anything. Yeah yeah it's missing a little bit the tire wear. But what I like is that you don't have to do these weird drifts where you try to avoid skid marks that much. Because that was quite weird to try. And with these bumps here it would have been really annoying. Because you get skid marks everywhere. We have a 3 minute warm up so from one warm up to the next to the next. But after this warm up, we will start. Sure. The thing is, you cannot distinguish the wall from the underground. Both has the same grey in that section. And it's so important. Uh, 
But yeah, maybe in the race I try to add those lights to my lines. Yeah, they really don't cost that much. Also, this one low slide is obvious. The second low slide could be this left turn. But it could be also, alternatively, this right turn. One of the two. I wouldn't say both. Shifting here and then no sliding with both of these turns. The question is is it worth it? Yeah. I have no idea because I was never at zero battery. Or earlier I maybe was just at the end of the qualification, but then it ended. This thing is also the better change from try to rain and from rain to try. Until when do you have the grip for uh, drifting? And when is the grip then so less that you have to move over to no sliding? It's a Formula E World Championship. Right. You got some music. Start in seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Twenty three laps for today's race. So you see, I get a lot of information here. I will make the interface office now later on. Get some team radio messages often. The first laps, it's always also the case that people try best laps. So get a notification for that as well. When it starts raining, then Quick uh, is of course the favorite. And as long as it doesn't rain, I'm going for it. Attack mode! One and a half minutes reactor boost. And yes, it is very difficult. Of course, at the beginning you lose a bit of uh, speed, uh, a bit of time because you go outside. These very tight turns, you cannot really use it to your full advantage.
Yeah, did get the puck. Yeah, the reactor boost just doesn't go away. Wait for it. The beginning of it is so difficult. said this also needs practice. Five minutes rain, okay. Let's focus a bit. Scheiße. 
That's because I look at the team mate, you know. I made the interface on. Try to read. What I was like, oh, maybe it says something like wait is starting now. This is the one part where you really crash away from the wall and this is a lot of time. Slightly will change. The question is when exactly, how much? So far, you still want to drift. This is the information that you need for the real races. What this transformation is gonna be. It's annoying to have that right before this chicane. Especially this right turn here is very bumpy. And this here isn't. So because you do all of this with releasing only, 
it saves a lot of energy as well. But the energy is low. <laughs> You missed it, let's try again. Uh, that was a short rain. I just realized how my car didn't turn around, and because I had interface off, I don't see the message. It could be really bad. But this is a test race and I wanted to get to SIBO. I want to learn that. How fast it is. I mean, my two races this afternoon, I had a lot more rain. <laughs> so I was never getting to SIBO. And additionally, I don't know why. But we have now always, or I have now always, over 5% of loss in the battery. And that was usually only 4 point something on the servers. So I'm really confused with that. I see the first people getting slowed. Seventh place at the moment. But now it gets everyone. But how much do you lose? That's the question. Kalati said something about 200. Okay, there are people that saved it better. But I have the feeling that everyone has to go into this mode. <laughs> Crazy. Ah, uh, now, now I would like to know something. If I was able to go into the attack zone, how fast would I be with reactor boost? That's crucial to know for next time. Because that would be an idea to spare one attack for this ending. Oh shit, that that cost me a lot of time. That curve, that cost me the place to sign luck. Acceleration is not the greatest. The others behind me were all overlapped. <sighs> yeah, also Vissi still had 3.5 somehow, but most people were at zero. These people that have one lap less have a bit of battery left. 
what would have ended at zero as well. Kurisu Tina saved the most. I went up to six because of that. Interesting. Also, I would say it's very slow. Kanati said something from, yeah, the best threat is to just full YOLO, and yeah, you get slow in the end, but it's still fine. But I would say, also, this did cost a lot of time. Uh, that, then you can really make sure to save the one or other turn and uh, go no slide. Question is, of course, on this map, which turns would you save? We're not sure. And then interesting, the attack mode. The attack mode combined with this slow motion doing, like how fast would you be? That would be interesting to know. For this I would basically need to drive a full race again on, uh, in the servers to figure that out. Then hopefully also with barely any rain so that I can really get the battery to zero. I don't know why we lost 5 point something percent now. It was usually 4.5 to 4.7 and with uh, then a bit of rainfall I was never getting to 100. Oh yeah, it was a cool event. What happens if we drive that route for a third time? Yeah, I didn't test now. I think nothing happened. Ah, I think I tested it in the afternoon. Just nothing happens. You try through it, you don't get reaped to boost. You just lose the time. Yeah, twice per race. Attack mode. Uh, he also only ran, uh, ran out right before the finish, yeah. Yeah, it was so different now. We had rain for like three laps <laughs> uh, and a much bigger battery loss, so I don't know. Very weird. But yeah, I mean, if you want to be successful in these uh, cups, then you just have to know certain things and you can only learn them by just driving them. And that's why I participated 